Today in this third part we're going to take a look at the statues and billboards and as you can see right here in the background if you can see my cursor we have a lot of stuff uh, so if you don't have these you want to go to the MX Simulator forum you want to go to tracks necessary object packs and download all of these because these are what you need to see those and when you download them extract them you want to go to your where you installed the MX Simulator so in my case it's a program files and just place them here so that should make you see them and you will also need to restart the game to get them to work so I'm just going to ride over to these and show you what they are starting off with billboards if we take a look at the screen here you can see we have a lot of trees and grass and you can notice that they are facing us and if you keep a look at the grass here in front of me you can notice that it will always face me that is billboards so it's pretty much just a flat image that is always facing you so that is what billboards is while statues is a statue you can go around it it will always remain at the same position and you can yeah it's three dimensional so you can go around it so for this tree it doesn't really do anything it's just there you can go to this bush here and it's still so that's the difference between statues and billboards my preference is the statues because I think they look better most of the time and we can notice here we have a Finnish banner so we may want to create a Finnish jump so let's go into that so choosing the status option we can see here is the white uh, doghouse and here should the f finish line be so we'll click here and these top objects comes in two which means they are duplicated on top of each other so I'm just going to pick this one and we're going to right click our way to the track let's say the finish line could be somewhere around here so I'm just going to make a gray jump here really quick and I must say I like this jump so I'm just going to copy this gradient it creates another one so I can take it here and add it so something like we'll see it ends about this far about half so it should end here so this looks pretty good so let's paint or add And as you can see, the jump looks really good, but this finish line banner just doesn't really seem right. It's pretty low, so we will go into the editor, we will choose status, and click on this one, and just drag it up and down, or just pretty much get it into a new position. As you can see, it immediately jumped up to the top of the jump. So, let's see here, we want to place it the front of the jump uh, zooming in so let's see here about as you can see if it gets in a slope it will start changing the angle so let's keep it on top here so we won't end up with that and facing the face of the jump something like this looks pretty decent and to show you how this works let's say we want to have a finished post at the landing too then we will have this one selected, we will press D as for duplicate and then you get another one. So we can press D again and again and again and it will duplicate the object. And let's say you made too many, you will press X, uh, hold on top of this circle here, not the one where you change the direction but the thing where you actually move the statue, press X and X that's how you delete it let's move on to billboards uh, they don't really work the same way so as you can see here this is the center of the billboard and this is how wide it is so it will rotate around this area so let's copy some of these and drag and it doesn't work 
So how you do with these ones is you just simply make a click, 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 wherever you want to have it. I have no idea really what I copied, but let's say I want it in front of the jump here. And same goes here, if you want to delete, you can press X or hold X and drag it over, whichever you prefer. So I copied this nice tree here, so that's really good. So now we have some trees in front of our finish line jump. As you may have noticed, you can download custom objects, so I will show you how to put those into the game too. And to get them onto the track, we will need to close the game and then reopen it once they're put in. So when you want to go and find some custom made track objects, you go into track editing, then we go to release track objects and find something we like. So now I found those hay bales, so I'm going to download these. So now we're going to cut this file, cut, and then we're going to paste it into this statue. Uh, paste. Then we want to extract this using WinRAR. I'm using extract here, I think it's easiest. Uh, I usually delete this file because we have absolutely no use for it anymore. Here we have the JM files, here we have the shape file, a PSD, and a little bit more. So I'm going to see here, so I won't need the XF file, or I won't need the Photoshop file, because I won't edit those. I'm happy as they are. So delete those, and I will uh, put the shape file into here instead. I like to keep everything in the same folder, and let cut these ones too, and paste it. So now bail 2 and bail 3 is uh, the curved ones, as you can see here. So uh, I will delete those, I won't need those as well. The load file is how it's supposed to look at a distance. If you're further from the object, it won't load as specifically as it would if you were close to it. But I prefer to delete these ones as well. But that's just my personal preference. I suggest that you go and try with first and then de delete them. And then you go and choose whether you want it or not. And this file here, we can edit with Notepad++. And we can see that our quiz were nice enough to give us how they're supposed to get put into the game. But I'm going to do this manually so we can learn. So here's our static file uh, for our track, which can also be found here. Edit with Notepad++. And we want to create a new one, so we want to create this square brackets, I assume they're called. So let's say we want to add this object to the uh, position 1800. And then we can add six zeros if we want to. We want to have it at no height, it should be at the ground. Some objects should be like minus one or plus one, but I'm going to put this in as zero. And then we want to have the other axis, so let's say 1800 for that as well. So I think that looks good. And then it's something about the rotation sideways. So let's leave that at 0, 0, 0, 0 as well. And now we're going to reference to where this file is. So it is at, let's see here, blank track 2049. And then we have it in the folder called statue. And then we're supposed to have the JM file first. Then we have, let's see here, so blank track 2049, statue, then we have gpbail1.jm. So I'm going to copy this, put it here. Next time around we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to copy this since it's in the same folder. And then we have, let's see, we're supposed to have the ppm file or png, which is the texture. And I want to have the black bail, so I'm going to copy this name. So let's paste the name. 
And for this last segment, we're going to add the collision to the file. Uh, but if you don't want to be able to run into it, just read through it, you won't need this one. But I won't have a collision in my files, so let's add that one too. So this is the shape file. So, and there it is, and let's save. So let's open up in-game and hope that it is there. So, and then we're going to go here, look at here, we have 1800 and 1800. And I think it looks pretty good. There is something here, so let's move this one onto the start straight and see what it is. And this to me looks like a hay bale. So it looks like we've successfully added a hay bale. And let's say I want to have hay, hay bales going up to the jump. So I'm going to put it in here, rotate it, duplicate it a couple of times. I know it doesn't look too good, but you get a point. This one wasn't straight, supposedly. So let's straighten it up and place it correctly. Let's see how that looks. I think it looks pretty good. It's not the best, but it does the work. So let's remember to save. So let's get on to the billboards. And then we're going to close the game down once again. So I have now got a file called douche.png which is this douche cap and this isn't for serious business it's just to show you how it works so you're going to edit this file with notepad plus plus and again we're going to do pretty much the same thing so let's put in the billboard file so we want to have this squared brackets once again let's put it in at 1400 0 and 1400 and I don't have all the zeros after, just because I should demonstrate how it can work anyway. And we won't have one empty line at the bottom. So this first value right here is, say it's pretty much just size, and then it is as aspect radio. So, let's see here. And the size, let's say that 40 is a good size and the aspect radio should be 1 to 1 to 1 1 to 1 and that will be like this I guess if we should have the aspect radio 1 to 2 it will be 2 so that's pretty much how it works so we won't have the aspect radio to this. At least I want to have it right now. And let's reference to the file. So blank track 2049. Whoops. And then we have the folder called build board. Then we have the file in there called douche.png. So let's save that. Open the game up once again. And we can now see that there's something over here as we wanted it to. So that's how you put in statues and billboards and how those work. I hope you could follow along and understand. And I see you in the next part.